question related to the energy spectral density of the function. Now we are adding the LTI system and uh, the input is input given to the system is xt is equal to e power of minus of 2t ut ut and the transfer function of the system is given by h omega is equal to 1 upon root of 8 square plus omega square and we have to find out the energy spectral density of the output. So for the LTI system we we are knowing that this is the xt this is the st and this one is the yt so yt is just the convolution of xt and ht or in frequency domain just assume the Fourier transform of xt is x omega ht h omega and yt y omega so we can say that y omega is equal to x omega into h omega or y omega mod whole square is equal to x omega whole square h omega whole square that is you can say that energy spectral density this is denoting the energy spectral density of the output is equal to this much transfer function mod whole square and this one is the energy spectral density of the input ok or you can just write energy spectral density of the output will be equal to transfer function mod of the transfer function ka square and energy spectral density of the input so we have to find out the value of the energy spectral density of the output so to get the energy spectral density of the output we should have mod of mod of transfer function that means mod of h omega and already h omega is given mod of h omega is given and energy spectral density of the input where energy spectral density of the input is just the Fourier transform of x omega ka mod ka square so our first thing is just assume Fourier transform of xt is x omega where xt is equals to e power minus of 2t ut then what will be the x omega x omega is the Fourier transform of e power of minus of 2t ut and it is just the 1 upon a plus j omega that means a is 2 plus j omega right because the Fourier transform of e power of minus a t ut is 1 upon a plus j omega so it become 1 upon 2 plus j omega so just take the mod of x omega so mod of x omega will be 1 upon because it is a complex function real and imaginary part so its mod will be root of real part chi square plus imaginary part chi square now we have to take the mod to get the energy spectral density of the input because energy spectral density of the input is mod of x omega ka square so just take the square x omega whole square is equal to 1 upon 2 square plus omega square and it is the energy spectral density of the input right and h omega h omega is already given mod of h omega is already given that is transfer function is already given and to get the energy spectral density of the output just put all the values energy spectral density of the output is transfer function chi square that means 1 upon root of 8 square plus 8 plus omega square whole square energy spectral density of the input is 1 upon 2 square plus omega square so just solve 1 upon 8 plus omega square multiplied by 2 square that is 4 plus omega square ok and that will be the required result energy spectral density of the output will be 1 upon 8 plus omega square multiplied by 4 plus omega square that will be the required answer ok thank you